everyone welcome to figure fantasy so it's been 300 days i think it's you know it passed uh 300 i think yesterday or the other day but the game right now has been 300 days in place especially for global i i play this game before global so probably more than 300 days for me so how has the game been so far okay so let's take a look at this event um the event for not the event the freebies for the 300 days then i'll share with you guys what i think uh on the major things that uh either are cons or pros for the game after 300 days okay so so far we have this uh 300 day anniversary coming up soon but it's already here like the the rewards here are already already out so go claim this in your inbox uh your in-game uh mail box uh because they are there ready and hopefully what i'm what i'm looking at towards the one year celebration is more rewards because again the one year anniversary of a game is very it's very important to celebrate it with a big bang and it would springboard your community from your one year up to two years so hopefully they could give us a lot of a lot of rewards for the 365 days so let's check out the game guys and see what we have for now so 300 day achievement complete so if you've played if you've you know if if you have seen this claim it you can use the currency for the current event as well so you have this spend it and hopefully again i i'm gonna tell you guys that hopefully we could get more rewards better rewards for our 365 days or for the one year celebration of the game okay um off to my feedback in terms of what the game has done right and what the game has done wrong so first and foremost guys i want to comment on the cons of the game at this point so cons is of course we do have collabs this is the first con these collabs won't be coming back uh, there's a very, very small chance that it'll be coming back. But most of the collabs, even in other games, don't even come back. So, why am I putting it as a con? Because all collabs, not all, let's say, let's, let's say we have around 90% of our collabs giving us OP figures. Like the recent one or the previous one. So... Again, these figures, if you missed out on these, uh, especially to new players, uh, they will have a not really... I'm not saying that they're not going to enjoy the game. They're still going to enjoy the game. But with these collab figures, the game is... It makes the game pretty much easier, enjoyable, more enjoyable because of what they can do. And if they're not going to come back, then therefore, um, new players will really ha will really struggle uh, in their in their play in their clearing of some of the content. So those I that is I think one of the things that hopefully they can address. Um, uh, my option here is if we can buy these pieces in most store with stickers, even for a higher sticker price. For those who haven't uh, gotten these figures before or missed uh, the previous events like that Sunimiko event, if they could buy it in the store, in the most store, that would be great. Because again, it gives new players the opportunity to catch up. So that is one. Number two, it is still a pain to farm for gear. To tell you guys, um, I really... <laughs> Even with the new figures that I have, um, it's really hard to farm. Still, still really hard to farm and complete. Although I've farmed enough, I've have I have enough, but there are still you know there are still holes in 
missing missing gear uh missing per uh, missing pink gear that i haven't equipped with some of my figures and again it's been a struggle um switching switching gear around <laughs> it's really hard to farm um for a person who has played this even before before global um uh, i really struggled with the gear and still struggling with the gear and for beginners and for those who are new to the game you will also struggle in farming for gear so take note of that because again um it will it will it will really impede your progress especially if you're free to play if, if you don't you know if you're free to play obviously you have lesser lesser um powerful figures and it's really hard to farm and reach certain stages where you can farm these okay so that is one of the problems that we have so far so the gear guide the the grinding of gears is really 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 hard okay so i still have a blank blank what do you call this blanks in my parts so the goal is to have pink gear obviously and upgrade it reinforce it so again another blank here uh not all have gears because because most of the gears that I have left are are yellow, and I some and I don't use the uh, most of them. Most of who don't have gear, let's let's say for um, for this guy, I don't have for Akechi, I don't have enough pink to fully equip him, so it's going to be yellow. So again, it he it impedes your progress if you don't have better gear. Okay, and also guys, going back to um an another point in gear the upgrade of materials for gear as well is really really hard to find so as you can see here let's do a reinforce these guys here are hard to come by because you need to sweep you need to sweep okay i'm just gonna do a sweep here and you need to sweep these and what is worse, even if you do have all of these, this currency is really hard to find. This one, your stamps. Stamps are very hard to find. <laughs> Again, it the struggle in the parts, the upgrading, the finding is real. So that is actually my point. Next is going to be resources. Resources are very scarce. Okay. Coming from, I'm, I'm talking about the resources for this, your clover stickers to, again, your stamps. You'll be needing this. It's, it's really, really hard. The stamps are really, really hard, guys. Sorry, um, I also forgot to, to mention, going back to the gear, the upgrade materials are also hard to farm. These are your upgrade materials so that you won't, you know, be confused. So your upgrade materials are also hard to farm in relation to your gear. The third one is going to be hard to find resources, which is going to be your, what do you call this? Your, this one, your stamp. So you can buy this with gold actually, but also if you spend too much gold, it's also hard to find gold, <laughs> especially if you are stuck in certain levels of nightmare nightmare gives you tons of gold but definitely if you had don't have the right figures upgraded and if you're you know low level you won't progress far here so again even gold will be hard to find so really a struggle at this point uh number four okay this has been one of the things that i do not really like and hopefully they could address this um it's not that i don't like playground of destiny what my my point is we only get playground of destiny probably once a month or twice a month so if you are in a in a you know in a guild sometimes people would ask 
what do we do here? What do we even do here? So we only, uh, only guilds are usually active once Playground Destiny comes out. Then there's no other co-op content that we could play in. Hopefully they could add another co-op content for the game so that we could, you know, we could take advantage of the guild system. So if we go back to the guild system here, guys. So as you can see here, Playground of Destiny is more or less your only co-op activity here. And it happens one or twice a month. Only uh, probably once even. And most of the club members are usually bored. They only signed in and nothing ever happens. So it would be great if the devs could put out more co-op content with the club involved this is not really hard to add on to but really a big part of this game if they could add more events to your club so playground of destiny i think one one of the best content that they have but it's 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 it appears not even on a weekly basis so again add to more to your co-op content for your club and the last one not really the last one, sorry. Um, the next one would be <clears throat> also related to your club, which is your brawl club. I mentioned earlier. Um, for your for the for our brawl club, this is our PvP rank match and tournament. What if they introduce a ban system for for figures? Because so that so that people or so that players would have a creative way of mixing and matching or creating their lineups. If you introduce a ban system, it would be more interesting, to be honest with you. Because again, every time you do this, the the ones that have the most powerful figures usually end up winning. It's never a challenge mixing and matching figures because everything or everybody is available to you. So if they put up a ban system for a weekly ban system, this would become very exciting for me. For me at least. Okay. So again, please do have more creativity in your PvP. Probably a ban system could be good to at least level the playing field um, so that we could use whole range of figures usually for pvp it's only a small range of figures that is, is been used and most of them are available to whales and uh, your your mid-level players and beginners cannot really compete in pvp so again a ban system would challenge everybody i hope that everybody accept it as a, as a challenge but for me that is a healthy challenge that could you know make players creative in their lineups in their synergy and again you know what i mean guys it would be more exciting so and the last con that i am going to talk about is going to be the imbalance of figures depending on brands so we have three three uh major brands so you have uh, let's red Tenma and Galatea. I'm not talking about these two. The, these are special brands. The three, ma the three major brands here. The imbalance is pretty much very glaring because most of the powerful, powerful collabs are already here in Tenma. So as you can see, we have, we have the new ones. We have Mikoto here. We have. All of the major collabs here. Mikoto. There you go. So, again, the major collabs are already in either Tenma or in Let's Red. The best ones so far. So, what is left is that Galatea is forced to have little reinforcement with Hyun Cha and with uh, Ultraman. So again, there's a there's there's a big imbalance of figure assignments at this point, and hopefully they could balance this appropriately in the future. Because again, there are some stages wherein you're only going to bring Galatea, and it's not enough. So uh, hopefully, guys, please do balance this. 
in the future months to come so that we could enjoy this game more so moving away from the cons i'd like just to you know discuss uh the good parts of this game the ones that get me excited the ones that get me um so you know um, makes me impressed on and makes me happy why i still play this game up to this day so one is there are a lot of collabs this game so far um keeps the player base uh most of the time happy with the collabs i think the only collab that they didn't like is ultraman some didn't like yun cha because again they're not waifus i get it guys so again at least right now the devs are you know what the player base look uh, uh, like most mostly waifus of course and the collab keeps the community alive it keeps the excitement you know the excitement there collabs right now come either every other month or every month um it's sad to say that of course it's really hard to save up for this collabs but again that's the nature of the game at least people will be excited more and looking forward to collabs because we know that collabs can make a difference in your lineup so the lots of collabs the better number two is lots of summoning currency this is in conjunction with the collabs we usually have these baseball events these farming events that are filled between weeks or yeah weeks that we don't have any summons weeks that we're, we don't have any good figures so these are usually filled with resource generation uh for collabs so your fully wish is important um your diamonds is important so the game has abundant has an abundance of those so of course um you just have to participate in these events because if you don't participate then you won't have a chance to farm for these okay so again very good in terms of farming events aside from farming events the in-game you know a regularity of currency for summoning is also good um again it's really a grind all games have grinding in terms of farming so you just have to get used to it and of course um whales will have the ultimate edge because they could buy currency so we cannot compare uh free to play currency farming with whale currency farming so number three is figures are always fun to collect as you can see the skins amazing um if i could have these in my room and put them at the back there and let you guys view it i would be very happy if, if i could buy almost all of them i will sony miko the skins look fantastic the 3d designs look fantastic and what can i say this is why i play this game because of the aesthetic of the concept of the game the design um again it's very it's very on at point with with what i want with my game the collectability of the figures it's really nice so hopefully in the future we could get the real figures we could buy them in an online store so and that is it so fun to collect figure design great and also the concept okay number four is for me let, let let me explain this i think this would be a very um controversial thing to say for some players but i think number four the game is free to play it's even very free to play because the farming mechanics and the currency that they give you is even above than what most games give you i tell you i played a lot of games beside this game or together with this game every day but i still go back to figure fantasy because i see that they're very generous in giving the players the opportunity to save currency to pull for collabs to pull for figures even if you're free to play so, and also i don't believe that there is con content here that is locked behind a pay-to-win system um it 
just so happens that if you're free to play obviously your progress would be slower but eventually you will have you will be able to clear those stages and you'll be able to finish them but on a slow pace but on the flip side it's still free to play it's still a slow progress of course if you pay more then you progress further that's the that's the usual right in terms of gacha game so again this game for me is free to play if you don't think it's free to play you may be free to comment down in the comment section why it's not free to play but for the most part i believe it is because of the currency the farming of the currency the event the 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 events that we get to farm more summoning currency and also the in-game no farming for the, those currencies are good and i think the contents are unlockable even if you're in free to play it will just take you more time because you have to develop your figures more slowly and you also you won't be able to get some of the figures if you started late already but again most of the content is clearable okay if i'm saying that right so again this game free to play number five is with my experience with the community, especially with the Discord, um, I've met some of the community moderators, uh, talked to them. They've listened so far to what I've been saying, suggestions that I've been giving, and they're very accommodating. They are... I've seen the chats as well. Um, they're very active in the chat. Um, I'm talking about Discord because that is our official, you know, community there. And I think they're doing a, a good job in terms of managing the community, managing expectations. And that will be the key to growing this game further. Because, again, without these community moderators, managers, those who, you know, who, who answer our questions if we have some, the devs, um without them without their support this community will not grow so obviously i am all thumbs up with the you know community managers and everything and the community itself um i don't think it's um the community is toxic it's more of uh, the competitive side of the community but not a toxic community so again guys thumbs up um hopefully we could continue this and last is just want to discuss my overall um, experience with the game, which is, if I may say, if I may rate the game 1 out of 10, 1 to 10, I would rate it a 9 or an 8.5. Probably 8.5. It's not a perfect game, but it hits the right buttons at this point. It has a, it, it has a great concept. It has a great strategy. Um, bright future ahead. I, I, I'm, you know... Uh, probably even better than the past games that I've played so far. Um, I find myself going back to this, playing this every day. Keeps me excited, which is rare for some of the games. So, again, this game, this game pulls you back at the right time, considers your time. It's time-friendly because all of us are working. All of us have other things to do. So it's very considerate with your time, easy to pick up, fun figuring out different formations in terms of what to use, who to use, how to equip them, and the challenge never wanes out or never dies out. So again, guys, I hope this justifies the 300 days in describing how the game has been so far. I hope that, you know, you were able to appreciate my insights there take note that these are only my insights if you have your own insights please do put them down in the comment section below let's discuss um i'm being fair with the game there are things that can be improved in their end and there are things that they have done very well on the other side so six cons six pros we'll see after one year on how they improve on this especially on the cons i'd like more improvements on the balancing of the brands the tournament hopefully they could put a band system and the club the club is important to me because it promotes more interaction between players 
and hopefully also answer on how will new players farm for the previous collabs if they could have a solution for that and farming in general farming for gear farming for resources farming for upgrade materials those things so hopefully they could have an improvement on those i'm expecting that because again i want this grow this game to grow for the next few years so that is it guys those are my thoughts and um it's been a good ride and looking forward to more months years playing figure fantasy so thank you guys for staying this far um i know this has been a long video but those are my thoughts so thank you stay safe take care i am the warden and see you next time